Well, howdy, folks. This is TJ here. Thought today I would um, talk a little bit about why I've been buying Spectrum and Sinclair Base computers because I want to learn how to program in BASIC. Back in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, when I had Atari, I enjoyed um, doing a little bit of programming and had a game in mind and kind of got part way in, and then girls became more interesting. So I never really um, finished anything. And um, now in the 2019, uh, the Spectrum Next really has me uh, quite interested. And uh, until I can get on a second Kickstarter for it, I've been buying some old Spectrums and wanted to get familiar with how um, Sinclair Basic is. Um, and uh, so I'm basically starting all over again. And some you have to start someplace. So simple things, uh, just making your own... Uh, UDG graphic uh, character and all that fun stuff. So, my first Timex Sinclair 2068. Um, this is the first book that I have, and I find that so far this has been the uh, most helpful book. And then the book that I received with my uh, ZX Spectrum Plus is also phenomenal. It's got some great chapters. Each chapter is kind of um, color coded, and there's little. Uh, tabs here that kind of take you to chapter by chapter and and it uh, walks you through a lot of the basics from creating your first character uh, to figuring out how to move it around so I've been for the last couple of weeks tinkering with that and um, at this point I finally have a little character I created a couple of nasties I've created I can move them on the screen with using the keyboard and right now I've got my uh, ZX Spectrum Omni laptop connected to my big screen with a SCART connector I have back here so we can actually view things better and uh, so and uh, I basically have I can uh, use this and see it on the big screen and uh, also be able to uh, move my little spaceship around and touch things and they disappear I don't have any type of point system nor a tribute that does something if I touch it but for right now if I get hit by one of the nasties, I do explode. So I've kind of gotten that far so far with just my limited knowledge. So I'm just kind of going to chat about it again. Again, these are the two books that I've been using. Fabulous. And um, here's, I printed out some uh, little grid paper that I got some blank grids on um, the, the internet and uh, started creating characters. So just, you know, as I scribbled and thought of things, and some worked, some didn't. Uh, I just kind of came up with little ideas of what I wanted to do. So uh, from doing this, I would then transfer it into the uh, uh, binary uh, or the numbers to create my little characters and my nasties. So again, I just kind of had fun with doing it this way and plotting things out. Uh, for example, this is uh, one of the nasties, the acid rain, and you'll soon see why it, I've kind of got, uh, uh, I guess, a weather theme going on. But anyway, this is a big A inside this uh, little water droplet, uh, acid rain. And just as I kind of went along, I started writing lots of zeros and ones and so I could easily put them into the computer. So anyway, um, let me go ahead and uh, turn on the monitor and I'm going to turn on the computer. And I'm just going to load up the uh, program that I have. So I'm going to hit the NMI button. And by the way, this little Omni's kick-ass. It's a lot of fun, and I'm in, enjoying using it. Learned how to save my code on the computer. So I'll go ahead and bring up... Uh, I might actually do a list here. And I'm going to adjust the camera here so maybe you can see some of this stuff. And this room's, my office is kind of dark, so unfortunately I don't get the best lighting, and I'm not a photographer, so, um, you know, sometimes this stuff might be blurry. But I am going to try something later today. Okay, let's see if I can get into my seat without bumping the uh, tripod. I just filmed a whole bunch of stuff, and when I moved the phone into the other room, I bumped it, and I didn't even have the screen in the shower. <laughs> well, 
So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and run this and kind of show you how it works. So on the screen, all those little blue dots with the A's in them are acid raindrops, which when I get this done will give me points when I touch them and they disappear. Right now it doesn't do that, but they do disappear. Oh. And you'll see that my little white spaceship moves around. I'm hitting the letters O, P, Q, and A on the screen to go up and down. I'll move dia I'll work diagonal uh, control in the future, but today I'm not doing that. You'll see that my little character is animated, so the little uh, thrusters in the back actually zig 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 back and forth, so it looks like I'm um, flying. And so the goal is going to be to fly around and collect the acid rains to get points. The nasties, that yellow one flying down the screen, that's a lightning strike. And that purple one, or magenta, is a tornado that moves left to right. And so they can also get points, so if they move across and collect them, they're going to get some points. As I move around, I'm going to get some points. And I'm going to build some levels into this so when I'm flying around, there's kind of an end goal. And the end goal is, as I get through levels, I'm going to be collecting one special letter per level as I fly around. And then once I get enough points, I can go to the next level kind of thing. And I'm going to get all these letters that I'll be collecting. And in the end, those letters are going to spell something. And like, I guess, an anagram... I need to be able to then figure out what that is and type it in so I can win the game. So there will be an end goal to this. So I built in, uh, if one of these nasties touches me, I will blow up. So let's get hit by the lightning strike. So I've got a little explosion, and right now I'm just saying lightning strikes, ouch. So you'll see that I've got some collision detection built in there. Let's go ahead and run again. Draws out the screen of all the acid drops. And I'm going to go ahead and get hit by the tornado this time. And it's the same little explosion. It just says something a little different. And then as you go up levels, there's going to be more of these nasties that can get me. So again, the explosion, tornado got me. So you can kind of see it's weather related. And my goal is that I'm going to be collecting these acid drops because I don't want them to hit the earth. I'm going to get points for it. There's going to be levels where as I go through the levels, I'm going to be collecting little things along the way, letters that will spell something in the end. And I need to figure out what that something in the end is. And it will not let me win the game if I don't figure that out. And there will probably be some type of bigger nasty that I need to kill in the end. So that's my basic game for now, uh, or the start of one. So my goal is to create one in basic, as I can best understand it, make it work. Then go back in, refine it, show what I refined, how it improved the game. Cool. Done. Then I believe there's what they call assemblers that you can run that will convert the basic code into machine language. That is much faster. Do that. Show the improvements. See what happened. So as I'm progressing, you'll see my progression along the way. Might help you too if you're into this kind of thing. And then ultimately, hopefully I can get on a... The second next Spectrum Next Kickstarter, get one of those, and then that's a whole big st step up. There's sprite graphics, much more that I would have to learn. But this is a start. So I'm back in the 1980s learning how to program. I'm having a lot of time, a lot of fun times here doing it, asking questions as I go, and hopefully you're enjoying my little uh, experiment here. And uh, enjoy the rest of your Friday. See you later, guys.